YouTube, the reason I recommend going on YouTube is because YouTube does not cut off. YouTube is continuously filming and there's people already on YouTube. The last place for me, hey, the last place for me to set up is Facebook. So let me get Facebook Live going and we should be getting ready to get started. But in the meantime, what you can do is make sure that you have a piece of paper, something to write with, something to write on, um, because we are going to start going into details about all products. Give me one second. I know it's like a little weird pause. All right. So here we are. Welcome, Facebook. I think everyone is set up. If you can hear and see me clearly, wherever you are, go ahead and put ones in the chat. Put ones in the comments. Put ones. Just put ones. And if you can, go ahead and put some hearts. If you're on Instagram, Facebook Live, um, I believe you may be able to do it on YouTube. I'm not sure. Um, I think. Give me one second. One one second. All right. Let me see. Can you hear and see me clearly? If you tap the screen, I'll get some hearts on Instagram, on Facebook. You should be able to see me. Why are you loud? I'm so sorry. But yes. Okay. I got some hearts. I got some ones. So that me, everyone can hear and see me clearly. I will say this one last time. Um, if you are live on Instagram, I would encourage you to join the live on either YouTube or um, Facebook because YouTube live cuts off at one hour. And yeah, YouTube and Facebook will allow me to continue to go. I don't know if it's going to take me an hour. I don't know if it's going to be longer than an hour, but I don't want you to miss anything. So first and foremost, thank you all for joining the product tour. Uh oh. Sorry, Instagram. See, told you it's Instagram. Sorry for um. Okay, y'all good. Y'all good at Instagram. Love the sunflowers. Thank you. I am gonna try not to get uh distracted with the comments. That's why we have day three. So this is Soulful Vibes Co. Product tour. What is the product tour? I decided to showcase all of our products. Um, on day one, meaning I'm going to go through all of the products we carry, what they're good for, why you should probably use it because we get so many questions say, hey, what product should I use for this? Um, I didn't know you carry this product. So I was like, you know what? Let me showcase all of our products. That is day one, which is today. Then tomorrow, day two, which starts at 630 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, is the demo. I'm going to show you how to use the products because so many people say, look, Sunny, I don't know how to use the Yoni Steam. I don't know how to use the Sage. I don't know how to make my Palo Santo stay lit. I don't know how to um, use the spiritual water. So I am going to go over product demos on day two, which is tomorrow at um, tomorrow, Wednesday at 630 Eastern Standard Time. 6.30 p.m. that is. And then on the last day, day three, which is Thursday, I'm going to do a product Q&A, which will allow me to answer all questions that you may have. We get so many questions, so many DMs, so many emails. So I want to address all questions you all may have. So this is the product tour. So make sure you join each and every night. Thursday will also be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow is the only change. Wednesday is at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can join live on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. So be sure um, to make sure you join in, come with your questions on Thursday, and you'll get them answered. 
For those who do not know who I am, I am Sunny Brooks. I am co-owner of Soulful Vibes Co. with my beautiful and lovely and amazing wife, TJ. I am majority behind scenes. I deal with operations and a marketing part of Soulful Vibes Co. And then TJ deals with the creative things. She's over all creativity. She deals with our creative outlook. She deals with our creative image. And she deals with all of um, custom orders. She hand makes like the jewelry and the keychains and the necklaces and things like that. So, um, yeah, this will be saved on YouTube later. Um, but, yeah. All right. Are y'all ready to get started? If y'all ready to get started, let me get some readies. Ready, 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 ready. Because I don't know. Y'all may be like, I'm not sure. I'm not ready to get started. I don't know. Let me see some readies. Drop some readies so we can go ahead and get started with what we're going to do. And what we're going to talk about. Ready? Okay. I'm trying to see who's going to win. Like, YouTube. Are we popping on YouTube? Or are we popping on Facebook or are we popping on Instagram? Instagram right now is popping. Instagram is popping. But YouTube, okay. YouTube trying to come on up. Facebook, where y'all at Facebook? I see y'all, but are y'all in here or y'all just coming to like kind of creep? Let me know. Okay. Right, Instagram is popping. Instagram is where it's at right now. But I'm pretty sure y'all gonna start heading over to YouTube because YouTube is not gonna cut off. Instagram is gonna cut off. I'm telling you now. Instagram is gonna cut off. So, yeah. How are y'all on this beautiful day? And to find me on YouTube, you can just type in Sunny Brooks. Sunny Brooks. S-U-N-N-Y. Not Sunny Days. I'm sorry. I put Sunny Days in a thing. But Sunny Brooks. Sunny Brooks and you'll be able to find it on YouTube. The first thing that we're going to co cover, the first collection, the first category we're going to talk about is cleansing. We're talking about cleansing. Cleansing. Don't leave Facebook to come on YouTube. Stay on Facebook. Um, don't leave Facebook to come on Instagram. I mean, Instagram is going to cut off at an hour. Happy full moon, everyone. Facebook is not. So the first thing we're going to talk about under the cleansing item is the abalone shell. This is an abalone shell. This is used to put your cleansing sticks like sage in the bowl. When you light it, it catches the flames, right? This is what they're used for. Some people use this to put their crystals in. They store their crystals. They use it for decoration. Sometimes they burn incense and different things in here. It is a nice, pretty shell. It's iridescent. It is nice and pretty. This is the abalone shell. All products that you're going to see is available on the site, soulfulvibesco.com, soulfulvibesco.com. So go check it out. The next item is the feather. They say, my sage don't stay lit. My Palo Santo don't stay lit. I don't know how to make my stuff stay lit. This is the feather. I will show you more tomorrow on how to use it. But you're doing this with the smoke from the cleansing sticks. You're gonna do this to direct the smoke in different areas. So we have the abalone shells and the feathers. Now, what I think is almost everybody's favorite to talk about is the cleansing sticks. The first one I'm gonna start out with, it's kind of like up and coming as one of the popular ones. This is, that was an incense. Y'all bear with me, okay? I got products all around me. So if stuff fall, y'all bear with me, okay? Anyways, this is blue sage. Blue sage. You can kind of see it like that. This is what blue sage looks like compared to white sage. Blue sage, it's one of people's favorite. Do y'all know why? Why blue sage is one of, one of the favorites? Take a while, guess. I should do some giveaways. Should I do some giveaways? Maybe. Why is Blue Sage one of the favorites? Anybody, anybody, anybody. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. One of the favorites. Nope, nobody. Okay, I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Someone says sent. Okay. The smell, no. Okay, got two. Okay, James said abundance, money. It brings luck. 
Okay, brings money on Instagram. YouTube answer first. Okay, there we go. Y'all got it. Everybody loves money. I know I do. So this Blue Sage brings and welcomes money, wealth, abundance, prosperity. That's what people focus on. But what they forget about Blue Sage, that it also welcomes health and healing. Health and healing. Health and healing. I'm going to say that again. Health and healing. And it brings a coolness to life. So if you feel like your life has got a lot of fire and a lot of like just going on. Yeah, I just described something by saying y'all know what I'm talking about. OK, don't act crazy. So blue sage will bring coolness and welcome coolness in your life. All of these cleansing sticks are really great at cleansing in general. Cleansing. What I mean by cleansing is resetting the atmosphere, raising the vibrations, get a rid of, getting rid of negativity and bringing in positivity, right? That is all cleansing sticks. All cleansing sticks are good. Some of them, a lot of them are, um, are sweeter than others. What I mean by sweeter is that it's a sweetness. It draws and brings in other things. So like blue sage is sweet, right? Because it cleanses, but it also draws and pulls in money, prosperity, healing, and health. The next one we're going to deal with, which is kind of one of the most popular, if not the most popular cleansing stick over the years. It is not one of my favorites. It's honestly not one of my favorites. It's probably not my favorite at all, um, but I use it occasionally. Is white sage. White sage, white sage, white sage. Um, the reason why this is one of the popular is because it's mainstream. A lot of people talk about sage, right? And when you Google sage, a lot of times you see white sage pop up. Um, so this is white sage. White sage is not a sweetener um, or it's not sweetened at all. Why? Because it's only great at cleansing, resetting, and purifying. You use white sage like you use bleach. If you want to get rid of every damn thing, all of it, all spirits, all energy, if you want to reset your whole environment, white sage, right? If you're moving into a place, white sage, even though cedar is really great for that. However, we're going to take one at a time. White sage, you can use it because you don't know why. Okay, here's a question. They say, Sunny, why would I want to get rid of all energy and all things if they're even if they're good? Because those energies and those spirits may not be my spirits, if that makes sense. So, for example, I move into a house, someone left their ancestors there. Their ancestors may be great people, but I don't really care for their ancestors to be there. I want my ancestors there. So, I'm going to remove everything from that space. So, um, White sage is good for really removing cleansing. It's like fucking bleach. It is like bleach, okay? That's how it is. Once you use white sage, I always, always, always um, recommend following it up with something. Following it up with blue sage, cedar, rosemary, yerba santa, um, palo santo, whatever. Follow it up with something that is sweet and that's going to attract something because you want to cleanse but you also want to attract and bring into your life the second thing i'm going to cover is palo santo palo santo palo santo palo santo palo santo is a wooden oh sorry it comes from a tree that's one it comes from a tree there's a lot of controversial things on palo santo i am not here to debate or Try to even convince anybody of anything. I suggest that everybody do their own research on Palo Santo. Um, research their own thing. Um, research their own information about Palo Santo. I can tell you one thing, though. Our Palo Santo is harvested in a great and eco-friendly way. The Palo Santo that we harvest is um, from trees that has already fallen on the ground. We are not cutting Palo Santo trees down to get our Palo Santo. Our Palo Santo trees is like, if you go somewhere and the trees are already on the floor and on the ground, that's where we're getting our Palo Santo from. However, Palo Santo is, someone said, I feel like I'm in class. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm not, I am a teacher at heart. I used to be an elementary ed teacher and I am just a teacher at nature at heart. This is part of who I am. So I, I, I hate if I'm sounding very teacherish, but I want to make sure everybody's understanding. I don't want to use complex language and all type of intermediate 
things, right? When um, a lot of people are beginners. So I want to break it down and make it as simple as possible. Um, um, so I hope, and if you don't catch something, just know you can go to YouTube and watch the replay. Um, but if I'm making y'all feel like y'all dumb or something, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to make sure everybody gets it. Um, thank you. Thank you, y'all. Um, so Paula Santo, back to what I said, research your shit. Okay. This is all. Research. That's it. Research, 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 because you can't believe everything on the internet. Not saying the internet is trash, but people have their own opinions. And I prefer people to do their research and have their own opinions. However, I could tell you about our products. I can't tell you about nobody else stuff. I can't tell you about nobody else damn Palo Santo. I can tell you about Soulful Vibes, Palo Santo. Soulful Vibes, Palo Santo is harvested and gathered in a very great way, in a very um, eco-friendly way, which is once the tree falls, they take the Palo Santo from that tree. However, Palo Santo is very sweet. And this is one of my favorite things. I'm not going to stop using Palo Santo. I'm, hey, I said it. Whatever. I don't care. I love Palo Santo. Palo Santo is good for welcoming peace, luck, health, harmony, and positivity. How I like to say it is Palo Santo bring in all good. Anything that's good, anything that's great, anything that's positive, it's Palo Santo. Palo Santo is bringing that in. So I want you to um, make sure you remember that. Palo Santo brings in and welcomes peace, luck, health, harmony, and positivity. Okay? The next one. Can we take a wild guess? A wild guess. What is this? Yeah, Palo Santo, and it smells amazing. I'm not a fan of how white sage smell. I'm not. Blue sage, I like how it smells better. Palo Santo has a very nice woody smell. It is so, oh, I love it. I love it. And I'll show y'all tomorrow how to light it. Um, good clothes, good cat. I mean, good catch. Good guess. Dragon's blood is red. So this won't be dragon's blood. Um, can you have Palo Santo in the tea? I'm not sure. Not cedar. Cedar is green. All right. Simone from YouTube said Yerba Santa. Yes, it is Yerba Santa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yerba Santa. Um, but Palo Santo smells amazing. Okay. It, it has a very woody smell. White sage. Let me tell you, if some stuff stay at the white sage, if some shit stay after the white sage, let me tell you, I don't know, because white sage, even the smell will run people out. So if you got company over, you start saging, they be like, oh, what's that say? What's that smell? I got to go. Let them go. Maybe the sage is working. Okay. This is Yerba Santa. Uh, said it smell like jerk chicken. Oh, no. But I'll show y'all how to use it tomorrow. The lighting, because people be like, my Palo Santo won't stay lit. You got to you gotta work for it. Anyways, this is Yerba Santa. This is Yerba Santa, Yerba Santa, Yerba Santa, Yerba Santa. Yerba Santa smells really good too. Um, one thing I love about Yerba Santa is it promotes self-love. Let me tell you, yeah. everybody needs some self-love. We want to love everybody and get love from everybody else, but we ain't loving ourselves. Anyways, that's another topic for another day. Anyways, <laughs> Yerba Santa. Yerba Santa is good for, uh, it promotes self-love, self-care, luck, um, protection. And when I mean luck with your Santa, I'm talking about luck with yourself. Um, just take that how that means. I don't want to break that down too, too deep. But it brings, um, promotes self-love, self-care, protection, purification, healing, spiritual strength, courage, psychic abilities, and finding your innermost self. Just think about your Santa as a self-cleansing state. It is good for self. All things you want to accomplish for yourself, anything you want to get done for yourself, your basanta is the answer. Okay. After your basanta, we are going to do cedar. Let's get some cedar. Hold on. Here we go. Cedar smells so good. Y'all know what cedar is. A lot of people do. Okay. Here we go. Cedar. So cedar is good for um, attracting the good energy. Eliminating negative energy, protection, calm, soothing, confidence, and strength. Cedar is really good. Did you see that? Okay. Cedar is really good for um, when you move into a new place 
or like you move out, you like a new roommate comes in or you like moving into a new room, new business. Cedar is really good because it's really good at bringing in good energy and getting rid of the bad. So like how um, and I use good and bad very loosely because I don't really believe in a um, notion of good and bad because it's relative and subjective, honestly. Like white sage will get rid of all bad and all negativity and repel negativity. Cedar does that, but cedar welcomes in a good behind it. It um, eliminates negativity, but it's good for protection. It's good for calming energy, calming and soothing. You need to be calm and soothe yourself. Cedar is good for that. The next one I'm going to um, go over is juniper. I'll be smelling all of them, okay? Juniper. I'm going to leave it in a bag just because people say that juniper, if you love the smell of pine and Christmas trees, juniper. I love it. It smells so good. I leave it in a bag because juniper, um, the herbs, the leaves are a little shorter than most, so you may always have some um, juniper, like little leaf leftovers. But juniper, here you go. It smells up. <clears throat> whatever. Juniper is good for transitions and new beginnings, manifestations and purification. Cedar is good for moving in. So is juniper. If I moved into a place, I'd probably do white sage, juniper, cedar, and palo santo. Okay. But this is good for manifesting and new beginnings. Okay. Manifesting and new beginnings. Manifesting and new beginnings. Okay. Manifesting and new beginnings. That's juniper. Then we have rosemary. Okay, y'all know rosemary, like cooking rosemary. This is like that, but dried and put up in a thing. This is rosemary. It's not sage juniper, it's just juniper. Just juniper. Sage juniper has juniper and sage intertwined in it um, because they you can find sage juniper, but it's basically white sage and juniper mixed. This is pure juniper by itself. This one is rosemary. Rosemary is really good for energy and focus. Clarity of mind, increasing memory, um, just energy. Say like you're starting your day. I love you. You can like love to start your day with um, rosemary. Rosemary is good for mental clarity. You're about to like get some work done. You need to focus. Burn some rosemary. Okay. Two other plants. Um, I'm gonna do sweet grass and save Rosa Jericho for last. This smells so sweet. It's so amazing. Kind of like I was gonna say, hmm, sniff. Hmm, Y'all sniff. Y'all can smell it. Sniff. Take a sniff. Oh, it smells so good, right? <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm like batshit crazy, which is okay. But um, sweet grass, it looks like this. It's like a braid. It's like this. So it smells like vanilla. It's really good. But this basically cleanses. It like repels negativity. It cleanses and attracts good. It attracts good. It cleans people, places, things, but it also attracts good. So think about white sage and Palo Santo had a baby. That's this. Okay. okay. But it smells amazing. So the last one of the cleansing um, section that I'm going to go over is Rosa Jericho. It is my, f I probably said my favorite already. Oh, well, this is my other favorite. You see, it's a Rosa Jericho. So, Rosa Jericho. Do y'all know the nickname? Here's another question. What is the nickname for Rosa Jericho? Nickname for Rosa Jericho. Hint, this plant comes alive. This plant right now is in its sleep, dead state. Right? It comes alive. This opens and blossom up like this and it turns green. You can go on our Instagram at Soulful Vibes Co. and look at it an open um, Rose of Jericho. This is the roots of it. Anyone can guess the name of the Rose of Jericho? Yes, the resurrection plant. It is called the resurrection plant. This is so beautiful. The spirit of Rose of Jericho. I feel like everybody should have a Rose of Jericho in their house. Everybody, everybody, because the peace and harmony that Rosa Jericho brings, it literally like gets rid of any negative influences and brings peace, harmony and abundance. You know, that's the difference. It brings peace and harmony because some people have money and abundance and prosperity and their life is chaotic. 
this brings peace and harmony. The the spirit of Rosa Jericho is so beautiful. So beautiful. I think everybody should have one. Um, and this is the roots. I'll show I'll tell y'all tomorrow how to use it, but I love Rosa Jericho. It is my favorite. Um, the spirit is beautiful. And I'm a person who believes that plants, animals, we all have spirits. If it's alive, we have spirits. And um, Rosa Jericho spirit is beautiful. And you basically just put it in water and open it up. But I'm going to save that for tomorrow. So next thing that we're going to do is our spiritual waters. Now, these are people's favorite. I feel like each area is favorite, but... That's okay. You soak it. So Rosa Jericho is the only one of the cleansing sticks, um, the cleansing areas, cleansing collection that you do not burn. You burn all of them. Rosa Jericho, you do not burn. burn. Please don't set little Rosie on fire. Rosie goes in water. Her roots just goes in water and she opened up. I will tell you tomorrow how to use it. Tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to join. Tomorrow, 6.30 um, Eastern Standard Time, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Rose of Jericho opens up beautiful. So we have spiritual waters, okay? Hi, hi, Cardi said, oh, did I do it good or not? Saw Rose of Jericho on your page, tell my coworker she ordered two and we put it in the water today. Is it fragrant? Rose of Jericho, no. But if you submerge it in water, I keep mine submerged in water. That's a whole nother training. I'll teach you about it tomorrow. Um, so we will see tomorrow how it looks. So it's a, no, because Ro Rosie takes a while to open up. Um, and I don't want to bring my personal rose a Jericho just because it's on my altar and stuff. Um, but what was I going to say? Go on our page, go on our page. If you go and see a green flower that's just open, that's Rosa Jericho. Um, but you don't burn it, you put it in roots, but it doesn't smell. It's not fragrant. However, if you submerge it in water, the water will get fishy, um, which you have to train how to make it work, basically. Y'all can hop on YouTube. I'm telling you, it's not about to end yet, but make sure y'all hop on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and search um, uh, Sunny Brooks, Sunny Brooks, Sunny Brooks, but spiritual waters. Yay, it's the favorite. So I'm going to start with the oldie but goodie. Let me tell you. <sighs> me and Florida water, we is perfect together. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. Florida water is life. It is bomb.com. Okay, hold on. This Florida water is open. Yeah, it smells open, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, it's open and none's missing, but I smell it. But Florida water, Florida water, I like to think of it like a liquid sage Palo Santo baby. However, it doesn't smell anything like it. It smells amazing. It smells like, I don't know, flowers and oranges and good stuff. Can we put that in our bath? Yes, we can. But I am not telling you how to use it. Tomorrow, I am going to tell you so many ways to use this. Some ways you didn't even think of. Hints, hints. Maybe a diffuser. And some other ones. But Florida water basically cleanses an environment. I always use Florida water to follow up after sage. I use uh, Florida water to um, like cleanse my hands. It's really good. But it's a good cleanser and a good... Um, peace bringer so it cleanses very well and it brings peace i'll tell you more ways to use it tomorrow and then we have our like specialty um spiritual waters here they go this is attraction if you want to attract anything attract money people jobs attraction there are some there they're in a plastic um, bag but i'm gonna leave them in a plastic bag this one is the road opener road opener so if you need um some roads open. You need a new opportunity, some new money, some new love. You feel like you can't catch a break. You could do some road opener um, work and use the road opener spiritual water. Then we have seven African powers. If you're familiar with the Orishas or um, the seven African powers, Shango, Oshun, um, Yemaya, and etc. Um, this is what 
that's for. But this is basically an all-purpose spiritual water, to say the least. I don't want to go too much. Um, I'm going live tomorrow at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. No, don't drink Florida water. Don't drink any of these. Then this is protection. We have a protection. So protection is good for anything you want to protect yourself from. Protect yourself from envy. Protect yourself from jealousy. Protect yourself from hatred. Protect yourself. This is the love Florida water. I mean, not Florida water. Love spiritual water. So this is good for love. Not only attracting love but or attracting a mate, but love for yourself. Like self-love. Feeling good. Love in all aspects. Then we have success and prosperity. Success and prosperity. Success and prosperity. That's kind of self-explanatory. You want success, you want prosperity, get this. The one that I do not have um, here to show because we're sold out, but we'll be restocked um, by the end of this week, is the money draw. Money draw is just like this, but it's green or maybe blue. I think it's green. Green, bluish. It's kind of that color. And it's money draw. It's good for drawing money. If you like about to go to casino, you about to apply for a new job, you want to raise, you can use that. How to use it? Tune in tomorrow and I will tell you how to use it. Okay? We good on cleansing and spiritual waters? Now we got incense. It is so many damn incense, it don't make no sense. Like so many. I'm not going to explain all of them, but I'm going to show y'all. Y'all know how to use incense. Look at all these incense. It's a whole bunch. It don't look like a whole bunch, but it's a whole bunch. So we got seven, seven African powers. And a lot of times on our site, if we have a product for one thing, for example, money draw, we have a money draw spiritual water, a money draw candle, a money draw oil, and a money draw incense, and a money draw a crystal set. So you can use all of those together in like side by side and make them work and make power out of it. But yeah. So seven African powered incense. Told you what to use that for. Business. If you got a business, you need these business incense. Okay. Business incense. I ain't gonna even have to tell you why, but they business incense. With the incense, anything that is themed um, you know why, you know why to use it, right? Business instance, I am going to, um, use it for business. If I want to attract more customers, if I want to be a more successful business, more lucrative business, more stable business, I am going to burn some business instance. If I just want to maintain my business, business instance, love instance. You can even use these before freaky time, before freaky time. How old am I saying freaky time? whatever but those are love incense which is really good protection incense i will burn these once a, once a week at least you always want to be protected right because shit is bound to pop off good health you having some troubles in health you want to maintain your health you just want to keep on going with your health good health we got the moon now tonight was the night for y'all to burn these Tonight was the night. This is the moon. I love these for the new moon, full moon. Yeah, anything dealing with the moon, the moon incense are really, they all smell good, okay? I don't think I ever have met a stink incense. I'm lying. I'm not a good, I'm not like a must type person. I don't really like the must. But anyways, the moon, the moon. Spiritual life. Y'all don't get spiritual life? You can get all of our incense, all everything that you're seeing on our website, www.soulfulvibesco.com. Soulfulvibesco.com. Everything is available on our website. Click the link in our bio. These are spiritual life incense. I love this, especially if you like doing some third eye work or some like you're trying to connect to the spiritual realm. You're trying to connect to God, spirit, divine, ancestor, spirit, guides, ascending masters, all that. You can't go wrong with the spiritual life. Spiritual life, like some of these, I will burn. Like I would, I I use a lot of these all the time. Protection, money draw, love, business, spiritual life, moon. Right. This one is six. Oh no, seven art an angels. Seven art angle angels. Seven art angels. Um, like if you're familiar with um the art the archangels, some people say archangels, but they're archangels. Like uh Michael Raphael. 
This is good for them, connecting with them. The seven African powers is good for connecting with the seven African powers. Fast luck. You just need some quick money, some quick luck. Here you go. Fast luck incense. Mm. Okay. That smells good. What's this? Goddess. Okay. Listen, ladies. Do I got to explain the goddess? I We are. Everybody want to. All right. I ain't even going. Whatever. I'm going to let that be. Goddess incense. I'm so funny. Y'all think I'm funny? <laughs> this is. I'm just being me. This is how I act all day, every day. Goddess incense. But thank you. See? Like, right. Queens. Goddess. Like. That's the thing. I ain't even gonna break that down. I ain't even gonna. I'm gonna I'm be a queen of goddess. I'm gonna be all that. But let me explain. Goddess is like goddess and gods is of the heavens and of the spiritual worlds. Queens and kings is of the the physical. So okay, I ain't gonna. I'm gonna let y'all figure that out. Anyways, goddess, you want to tap into that inner divine, sensual self, your sexuality, your beautiful spirit, your feminine power, the divine feminine. Get some goddess. We all need to uh, tap into our divine feminine because we, we walk around here with too much masculinity and do, do, do and go, go, go and not enough being and creating. So God is going to help us with that. Okay. Open roads. I explain this. You want to open roads? You want to open your life up? You want to broaden your horizons? Get more open roads. Open roads, nice prices on the website. Thank you, boo. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be affordable. I feel like I want people, everybody, to experience all the good juju and all the good spirituality tools for affordable price without breaking the bank. Without breaking the bank. Look, I can't even say it fast. But without breaking the bank, because I ain't even gonna get into that whole spill either. Because people come sell ideas and shit. Not ideas like that, but like people take spirituality and try to make money and they take prices to be really extreme and it's just it's too much. It's like, well, why? We're helping the people. We're really in it for the people. Legit shit. Okay? We got rosemary. We talked about what rosemary good for. If y'all just like rosemary, <laughs> let me stop playing. Okay, rosemary, good for energy, mental clarity, stimulating the mind. Namaste. My yogis out there, I'm becoming a yogi, y'all. ain't going to lie. Namaste. This is good. If you just want to bring peace, balance, you want to greet the God in you, namaste is good. Citronella, set aside from these mosquitoes in Florida. I'm just, I'm playing. Mosquitoes, y'all know mosquitoes, right? That's good for this. I ain't going to lie. That's I burn citronella for mosquitoes a lot. But that solar plexus work, solar plexus work. But citronella is good for waking up. And um, it's kind of like rosemary. It's really good. When you smell it, it's like, mm, it like open you up and you think clear and stuff. Sacred rituals. If you're doing any rituals, sacred ritual will be good. Any rituals, moon rituals, bath rituals, um, Money rituals, any rituals, any rituals, even like burning this at the beginning and start of your day, because every day is a ritual, a new ritual. You start your day with a ritual, sacred ritual. Reiki, any Reiki masters, any Reiki practitioners. I myself is a Reiki master teacher, but Reiki is a good one to tap into energy. If you are trying to heal energetically, if you're trying to play singing bowls and things like that. Reiki is really good, but Reiki isn't only used for Reiki masters. Reiki is good for any energy work that you want to do and you want to involve yourself in, right? Fortune. You're trying to get a fortune? That's self-explanatory. Fortune incense. We have mirror. Smells amazing. We have blessings. Open up the blessings. Sandalwood. Surprisingly, sandalwood smells really good. A lot of people don't like sandalwood, but sandalwood incense will change your mind. Dragon's blood. Someone said something about dragon's blood earlier. Dragon's blood is good for cleansing also. I am going to throw this one in here. Look, white sage, white sage, white sage, good for cleansing, but it smells amazing also. That's a white sage incense. We got lemongrass incense. Love lemongrass. Smells beautiful. Lavender, you need some relaxation, you can't sleep, you need help meditating, 
burn the lavender incense. Lavender incense. We got frankincense. Frankincense is similar to lavender, not in smell, but in um, benefits. Frankincense is really good for meditation. If you want to meditate, get frankincense or even the meditation blend. Meditation. People say, Sunny, I don't know how to meditate. Where do I start? For every meditation, I love to light a white candle and I love to burn incense. Meditation incense would be the best because it sends your mind um, into a meditation state. Patchouli forest. You like patchouli? It's very strong. Patchouli is very strong, but love it. Palo Santo. We got Palo Santo incense. Let me tell you something. Palo Santo incense and white sage incense does not smell like the real thing. So say if you say, I don't like how Palo, uh, how white sage smell. That does not mean you're not going to like the white sage incense. They smell totally different. Um, white sage kind of, the white sage incense kind of smell like um, baby powder. Palo Santo smells amazing. Okay. We almost done with the incense now. Positive vibes. This is a popular one. One of the most popular positive vibes. That's self-explanatory. I don't got to, yeah, don't got to explain that one. Spiritual healing. Any type of healing you're doing, I feel like even if you're doing physical healing, emotional healing, mental healing, all first starts in the spirit. Spiritual healing, right? Money draw. That's it. You want some money? Money drawing. Incense. Money drawing incense. There you go. Success. It's going to help with success. You get that one. And then we have these two. Nag Champa is an oldie but goodie. Let me tell you, this is going to heighten the vibes of any space. This is good vibes. They should call it good vibe champa because that's what it. If you ever smell that champa, let me tell you. Okay, that's all. Seven chakra incense. This is one of my favorite because it comes with seven different incense in here. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So it comes with seven different ones, one for each chakra, and each one comes with. Um, five in there. So if you're working on chakras, this is amazing. This is what it looks like. It has one for the root, the crown, all of that. So if you're working on self-confidence and um, willpower and getting things done, guess what? I'm going to probably burn the solar plexus incense and it comes with five in there. So this is the seven chakras incense. I love these. Love these. Love these so much. Okay. And then we have incense holders. I don't have to explain this. It holds your incense, okay? That's how that works. We have the wooden brown ones that looks like this. We have the colorful ones. These are colorful ones. And then we have three of these. This is the tree of life. It looks so pretty. You sit it. Well, you can't really see if you sit it. But you lay it down, and it has holes for you to put the incense in. It's really, really pretty. Love the incense. I love that one. That's that's a fave. Um, that one sells out often. Then these other two are metal ones. These are holes here to put the incense in. And this is an ohm. It's amazing. Another incense holder to hold incense. And then this last one is the Hamza hand. Those are holes at the top, but it's super cute because you can put your incense sticks there. And if you like the incense cones, you can put the cone there. It's super cute. Super, super cute. So we have went through all of the incense and incense holders. Let me know what y'all thinking. Are y'all enjoying this? Um, are y'all learning something? Are y'all getting information? Let me know. Please give me some feedback so I can know how to go, what to do, um, because I'm trying. I'm trying to make sure y'all are learning and understanding. And in order for me to know that, y'all got to give me some feedback, y'all. Yes, what? Yes, what? Yes, what? What's, wait, what's the Nag Trump again? That's good for like positive vibes. You just want to bring positive vibes into a space, Nag Trump. Nag Trump is an oldie but good, goodie. If you talk to anybody nine times out of ten, they have like experienced some nag chopper and it smells good as fuck. I ain't gonna lie to you. When you having another sale, mm, get on our email list. If you're on our email list or our tech subscription, you would know when we're having another sale. 
because they know first, they get first dibs. So that's why stuff be sold out because the people on our email list and a tech subscription, they be eating stuff up. Uh, giving me ideas on what I want to buy. Yes, informative, informative. Looking for, for it. Yes, I'm loving this. I can't wait. Pay. pay. Where are you located? I We are located in Miami, Florida, but our shop is online, so everybody around the world can access us. Very informative. Okay. I'm late in a lot. Very great if I had so many questions, but you answered it. Okay, yay. How many incense sh should you light up at once? Shit, light them all up. You light the whole pack up if you want to. Okay? I'm dead serious. Like that? Who that is? Who going to be the incense patrol? Like, nah, you lighting too much. Tell them to mind their damn business. You can light up whatever you want to. Okay? So those are the incense. Um, I'm glad y'all are learning. What's the best to start with a beginning for the instance, whichever ones you want to work with. Okay. So I know being that we're in the middle of it, make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. I'm not done. We're in the middle. So tune in tomorrow live at 6 30 PM Eastern standard time. I want to show you how to use all of these or tell you how to use all of them for, um, actually. And then on Thursday, we will be back here at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will be answering all your questions. So make sure y'all writing all y'all questions down so y'all can come on Thursday with all the questions. Love your energy. Like them all. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Let's see. YouTube. I use it every day. I'm going to be honest. But, okay. They're all nice. Okay. Loving it. Loving it. Learning a lot. All of the information you're giving. It's far. I'm learning a lot. Loving. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. What's the grass one? Not sure. If you talk about the steak, it's probably sweet grass that you're referring to. Sweet grass. Should we finish Palo Santo incense? Is lighted. Thanks. Same would say what? Should we finish Palo Santo? Is lighted. Not sure what you're questioning. All right. Okay. What are we talking about now? We're talking about oils. Do not ask me how to use the oils because I'm gonna tell y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna tell y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna tell y'all tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, and yes, I said tomorrow. I did not say tomorrow. I said tomorrow. Okay, that's how we talk down here in Miami. <laughs> oh, okay. So I need y'all on Instagram to go over to Facebook or YouTube because the you this Instagram live is going to end in about seven minutes. Okay. Um. What oils were you using for the roller early? I'm allergic to almond. DM me. DM me. DM me. Okay. Um, yay. Um, go over to YouTube or Facebook. How do you find it? You go to YouTube and you type in Sunny Brooks in the search. Sunny Brooks. S-U-N-N-Y-B-R-O-O-K-S. And you should see my page and you should see a live video going on. Click that. Um, and then... Can I restart what? And then um, on Facebook, how you can find it on Facebook is go to Facebook and type in Soulful Vibes Co. You will see our page pop up and you will see our um, live video. So y'all go over now and see if y'all could join. Okay, I'm going to restart it, but I... Oh, y'all are like my little sister who like acts for like stuff. Why y'all just can't follow directions? <laughs> Why y'all get why y'all can't just go over there? Y'all YouTube, my people on YouTube, nice. Why y'all don't like the YouTube? And I got a whole bunch of other informative videos on YouTube. Y'all can go check out. Gosh, I'm maybe, maybe. Okay. Now let's get to the oils. We have the ancestor oil. This is good for connecting with your ancestors. If you're like Sunny, I want to start. Um <laughs> She's talking about, uh -uh, sis. I'm going to restart it, okay? I'm going to restart it, okay? I'm going to restart it. But um, this is good for connecting with your ancestors. If you say, hey, Sunny, I don't know how to start the connection. I don't know how to talk to my ancestors. Ancestor oil. Prosperity. That's kind of a given, right? You want prosperity. You want abundance. Prosperity oil. We have happy home. This is an oil that you should always be burning or diffusing in your home um, because... Happy home. Everybody wants a happy home. We don't want chaotic homes or mad homes. Okay. 
attraction oil. We're trying to attract a mate, attract money, attract a new job, attract a new car, whatever. Think of this oil like a manifestation oil. What can you do with these oils before? I'm not, I shouldn't tell y'all because y'all should tune in tomorrow, but you can dab them on. You can put them in a diffuser, oil burn, or anything. Energy. You need some energy. You lack an energy. You want to feel more awake, more focused. Yay, you found me. Um, this is it. Energy oil. Um, some that I'm not um that I have yet to mention is like money draw because money draw is sold out, calming is sold out. And I think that's it. Calming and money draw, which are sold out, but they're on their way. They're not sold out, but whatever. Needed change. This is needed change. The needed change is really good if you feel like um, um if you kind of say you're going through a rough patch, you say, I don't seem like I can get forward or I need to move out of my parents' house or I can't stand my roommate i wish they move out whatever whatever change you need need a change if you say you're going through like some depression anxiety and you just want a change of scenery a change in vibes a change in frequency needed change is a really good oil love needed change um healing if you're doing some healing work doing healing um even physical body if you need healing like for you you blew your knee out healing or you're trying to deal with some trauma healing or protection this is something you need to have on all day because people is crazy out here in these streets. People are out here crazy. People are crazy. And not only that, you want to protect yourself on a spiritual um, realm too. I'm not going to get too much into that. And then happiness. Happiness oil works. This happiness oil, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. It smells like vanilla cupcakes or vanilla cake. Okay? It smells something like that. Vanilla cake. Vanilla cake, but those are oils. Those oils can get used for anything um, based off of the name. So the oils are kind of like the the incense. The name basically tells you what it's good for. Um, on Instagram Live right now, I am going to end it before it cuts off in the middle of while I'm talking, and I'm going to start it back for my lovely people because I love y'all so fucking much. Okay, so I'm going to end the live and I'm going to save it. Just join because I'm about to start another one. Okay. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right. So my people on YouTube, y'all good? My YouTube peeps, my Facebook peeps, y'all good? Let me know. Y'all got any specific things that I went over and I maybe didn't cover and y'all like, I don't know. Maybe just talk about this a little more. Could you reiterate this? Or I didn't understand this um, on my YouTube and my Facebook peeps. Y'all good? Because I really want to make sure y'all getting it while we wait for the YouTube people. Y'all remember the teacher who used to be like, all right, hold on. We're going to wait for the, the stragglers to come in. That's how we're doing right now. So I'm making sure my people over here at YouTube and, and Facebook good. You love my, oh, thank you. We are good. Okay, we good? The stragglers are coming in and we are going to wait for the stragglers because the stragglers arrived a little late, but that's okay. That's all right. All right. Hey, hey. Okay, you here. You good? Y'all good over here? Facebook and YouTube? I'm located in Miami, Florida, but our store is located online. All right, we back. Guess what this is? Guess what this is? What this is, y'all? Take a wild guess. Tuning in from Instagram. Thank y'all for coming over from Instagram. What is this? Wild guess. Yoni egg. Yoni, 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 yoni. Okay. And this is a silicone string that comes with all our yoni eggs because I get so many questions of like, Sunny, how is it going to come out? What if it get lost? First off, I need you to go back to anatomy and learn that what goes in your vagina cannot get lost. Um, but ah, it's not an anatomy lesson. Hi, questions. How do you set up altar? Join on Thursday and I'll be able to answer you. You want my address? You can't have my address, though. 
Um, the alter specific questions come on Thursday because I can't. Why have y'all been scared to use these? Why have you? It's not gonna get lost. I promise. Because if you look at the structure of the entire vagina and womb and uterus, it's like a wall. So some people be like, "Wouldn't it go up into my intestines?" Don't make fun of people, y'all. It's not nice. But I'm just letting y'all know. Listen, it's not gonna get lost because this string. Isn't this for tomorrow? Am I supposed to be showing y'all that tomorrow? I'm not showing y'all how to do it. But basically, you put the string in, hold the string, put it in. Anyways, yoni eggs. We currently only carry rose quartz yoni eggs. We're going to work on carrying other ones um, next year. Um, oh, we don't have a physical location. We're only online. These are really good for um, tightening your vagina muscles, okay? You can um, increase vagina, what is this? Squeezing by using yoni eggs. You can increase your, um, increase like the, the strength of your pelvic floor. It actually helps with building your bladder up also, to be honest. Um, I have had customers say like they have bladder weaknesses and they use this because that pelvic floor muscle helps with that using Kegels. Do you have pearls? No. Um, but yoni eggs are good for that. Yoni eggs are good for um, helping cramps. People, because we're talking about that muscle, right? The muscle contracting. And if you understand what happens during your menstrual cramp, you understand. Um, this is good for lubrication also because you're producing with tightening your um, vagina walls and things, you are producing more lubrication and things like that. So Yoni eggs, my favorite product in all of the lands is Yoni steams. This is a Yoni steam that is handmade by me. No, it will not get lost and it will not get stuck. I promise you. Y'all tampons, if y'all use those, don't get lost and stuck. They may, but they just go up and take it down. And then you got the string. The string will hold it, and the string will hang out so you can plop it out at any time. Nope, it will never get stuck. It will never get stuck. It will never, ever get stuck. That's why you have the string that we um, ship with every Yoni egg. This is the Yoni sting. Oh, my gosh. I love it so much. Y'all smell it. Smell it. Smell. Smell. Y'all smell it? Say, oh, it smells good, right? It smells so good. So this is a Yoni sting that I hand make. I have been making this for like five, probably longer than five, 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 six years. Um, and those who do not know, I am a certified herbalist and aromatherapist. Oh, y'all yeah, was smelling it. Y'all yeah, was smelling it. Yay. <laughs> y'all entertain my foolishness. I love y'all. Okay. Um, I'm a certified aromatherapist on a serious note, though. I'm a certified herbalist and aromatherapist. So I have went to school and have done over a thousand hours um, in herbology and aromatherapy. So I am able to mix herbs and know what herbs go with which herbs. I'm not one of these YouTube people or Instagram people that just Google some shit and put some shit together because you're going to boil your coochie off. OK, so anyways, this has 15 different organic ingredients that I use and put them together. Why should you only sting? Well, there are many benefits, right? So it basically purifies and resort the uh, resort, reset and cleanse and tone the vagina. They say, Sunny, the vagina is self-cleansing. It is. It very much so is. And that's great. However, it's self-cleansing and you still have cramps. It's self-cleansing and you still have big clots. It's self-cleansing and you still maybe have PCOS and endometriosis and fibroids and things like that. So it's self-cleansing. But however, herbs that comes from the earth, that is provided from the earth. We're not talking about chemicals. I'm not talking about boy, your stuff with any other chem chemicals. No, we're talking about herbs that come from the earth that is handcrafted and put together by someone responsible, not Google, um, that you will use in in um not in replace of your vagina self cleaning itself but together right in these herbs all of the herbs have different properties but for example lavender is in here and lavender is really good for um if you know relaxation 
and good for um, calming. So that's what it does in the vagina. It relaxes and calms the vaginal walls. So the yoni steams are really, really great for cramps. I'm telling you, I literally had this. I made this for myself. I did. Um, v steam, yoni steam, that's all what this is called. But those who suffer from severe BV, yeast infections, yoni steams help. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Telling you. Um, that um, cramps, heavy bleeding, PCOS, endometriosis. I am not making any health claims. I am just telling you what it helps with. And I'm speaking from my personal experience and I'm speaking from um, hundreds of customers, right? So if this package says um, this purification process of yoni steam and cleanse, tone, and nourish the vagina and womb. It is a beautiful blend of 15 plant allies. Allies. Remember that. Some plants do not work great together. Yes, if you're a virgin, yes, it's still fine. It doesn't matter. You don't have to stick anything in you. It's fine. You can still use this. It's really good anyways. If you're having sex or if you're not having sex, it doesn't matter. Um, but that's something important because some people mix herbs that do not go well together, that are not supposed to be mixed together. You got to know that what you're doing, right? So 15 plant allies, ideal for steaming the vagina and promoting healthy hormonal balance. This can be enjoyed can be enjoyed a week before and after your menstrual, after childbirth, or whenever you like. It's simple. Rather than paying $40, $50 to go to somebody's spa to get it done, you can do it at home because this whole pack is the price, half price of one steam, and you get like four steams out of here. Something I do twice a month. Love it and still do it. I don't have any cramps. I don't have like any um, clotting and things like that. I used to, I used to like, then my doctor used to prescribe me from, um, what the fuck was it? Percocet, Zan, Percocet, something. One of them pills, because I used to be like bare and when my menstrual used to come on. And I created this and it helps me and I don't have any cramps. My cramps is not my warning for coming on. I don't even know when I'm going to come on because I don't have any cramps, okay? So I'm telling you, BV, yeast infection, all that. You could go on our website and read the whole list of it, but that is some of it. Can you make a tea? I know tomorrow you'll tell me how. Um, this, I, no, Prozac, I don't, no, it was for cramping. I think Prozac is for the mind. Shit, I don't know. It was for cramping. It was a heavy pill. It was like a heavy pain med. Um, this, no, I would not advise, even though everything in here is drinkable and edible, um, but I would not advise you to make this as a tea because it would probably be fucking nasty, to be honest. You don't want oregano tea because there's some oregano in here, okay? You know, Percocet. See, y'all know what I'm talking about. But, okay, so that's Yoni Steam and Yoni Eggs. Get them Yoni Eggs and Yoni Steam juice together. Make your vagina happy, okay? Can anybody take a wild guess what this is? My people on YouTube better know because I got hella videos on there about this. What is this? This is a starter Yoni Egg. We only sell one Yoni Egg. We only sell one. This is a starter. This is good for starters. And y'all be like, this big. It's big. How is big? I know y'all birthed them big head ass kids. Them kids got big old heads. And y'all talk about these big? Like, the kid head be about 10 times bigger than this. And y'all be like, I, I, oh my gosh, y'all going in the vagina? That's big. What? Big? Big? Compared to them heads that be coming out? Oh my God. Okay. But whatever. But yeah, this is the start of. I'm sorry. All these questions, y'all. I'm a virgin. Uh -uh. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, hey, for the virgins, I'm sorry. Well, you don't know. But I'm just. Okay, maybe not. If you're a virgin, I would not use a yoni egg, to be honest. They talk about this real bit. Okay, listen. Now y'all about to attack me because I'm. Ta oh my gosh. Don't cancel me, y'all. You had a C section. Okay, all right. Listen. <laughs> if it was a penis, it wouldn't be a problem. Right. See, people talk about penises are bigger than this. Listen, I am not going <sighs> to. If y'all are a virgin, don't use the yoni egg. This will hurt very bad. So don't use the yoni egg. Use the yoni steam if you're a virgin. If you had kids, you understand that this is small, right? If you had kids via C section, you understand that kids do have big ass heads and it was a possibility it was coming out your vagina and you was okay with it. So this one. <laughs> if you have never had kids and you don't have kids and nothing has ever um 
Man, it's out of here. This is still small. Like, people, like, once you put some coconut oil on it, y'all will be fine. Look, it's little. This is beginner size. See, people talk about these things are way bigger. I'm telling y'all, this is little. Like, you just put some coconut oil and get it real nice and you just slide it up there, man. Don't, y'all don't be giving me a hard time. Okay. See, you start off with the large and as the muscles get tighter, you switch to a smaller egg. Right, teacher? Yes. You decrease in size. You decrease in size. They hold it against my palm. Y'all ain't y'all gonna be holding that other stuff against y'all palm before y'all put it in. God. It ain't gonna get stuck. Okay, when y'all go get a pap smell, yes, that should be big and cold. See, it's little. You start with the bigger ones because when your muscles get small uh stronger, you'll be able to grip the smaller ones. Okay. Y'all good on these Joni eggs? Listen, I promise they ain't going to get stuck. Y'all tune in tomorrow so I can really explain how it ain't going to get stuck. How it ain't going to get stuck. <laughs> Whatever. But these little, we only sell drill holes for that purpose because we focus mainly on beginners. That hole, you're going to have a string. There's silicone string that comes with it and it hangs out. So if at any moment you're like, oh shit, I think it's going to get stuck. You plop that shit right out. You pull it right out. I'm telling y'all. Y'all don't be worried about if other stuff going to get stuck up there. Y'all be just letting it go up there. God. Y'all, listen, y'all be scared about the wrong stuff. Yeah, it comes with a string. Y'all ain't, let me tell y'all. Y'all done made me hot. I'm just gonna take my jacket off. I hope y'all, y'all came from a product tour and I feel like y'all getting a comedy show. I digress, okay? See, y'all can't even pay attention on it. See, look, YouTube is behaving so well. Facebook behaving so, so well. It's the people on Instagram. It is the people on Instagram. See, look, they, they talk about they're going to birth the yoni eggs, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I can't. Look, what's this, y'all? We about to move on. We about to do this. What is this? What is this, y'all? I need some more guests. Y'all are like kids. Y'all was late to the class and shit. Ancestor money. Okay, we see y'all in YouTube. Okay. No need to be sorry. Y'all good. These are, this is ancestor money. This is the best money to have. Okay. Okay. This is our millions. This is millions. People be like, Sonny, who that man on there? Who that Asian? I don't know no Asians. Ain't no Asians in my family. I ain't got no Asian ancestors. Okay, listen. His name, like my niece used to say, him name is when she was little. But ancestors money. He is Jade the Emperor. Jade the Emperor in the spiritual realm is the gatekeeper for all money, all finances, all um, great things. Like how if you think about um, Buddha, Right. And you think of Buddha and you're like, oh, Buddha is known for peace and luck and happiness. Right. Peace, luck and happiness. You know. Jade, the emperor is known for money, finances, wealth. So that's why he's on the ancestor money. OK, this is millions. This is billions. This is trillions. Right, we got trillions, and then these big notes, big bank, take little bank. Ah, oh. all right, this is quadrillions, quadrillions, trillions, billions, and millions. Sunny, why do I care about these different denominations? Why? Because they matter. Every note. Um, has a different like frequency per se, right? So ancestor money, one, is a good offering. How we say, leave your ancestors offerings, give your ancestor offerings. How? So you can, of course, do food. Excuse me. You can, of course, do water. You can, of course, do flour, tobacco, rum, those great things. I love one of my favorite ways to give my ancestors offerings is ancestor money. What this does is when you burn it, it sends the energy 
to the heavens and um, energetic realm, right? I like to believe, I truly believe wholeheartedly that our ancestors and um, our ancestors are in the spiritual realm and they have shit to get done. They got to do things. And in order to do things, they need energy. Y'all know that money is what? Energy. Ancestor money transfers to energy for them to clear up their debts because in real life, what we need to pay off debts, money. What do we need to eat? Money. What do we need to get shit done in real life? Money. So a lot of times we can use ancestor money to burn it, send it up to the spiritual realm so that they can get things done. The bigger the note, the more energy it holds, right? Because we have millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions. The bigger the note is, the bigger the offering is, if that makes sense. The bigger the offering is, the more they can get done where they are. I don't know where it, where it came from, but spirits don't work for free. My asses don't work for free. I ain't my ass ain't gonna work for free. Just think about your boss call be like, oh, you think you can come in next week for the whole week and um for free? You probably ain't gonna come. You be like, nah, partner, nah. Mm -mm. So what we think when we call our ancestors up and we be like, hey, ancestors, you think you can uh, help me get this job? Crickets. People don't work for free. We don't work for free. It's for real. Spirits don't work for free. You gotta give offerings. Even when you look in the religious uh, areas, right? When you look into Christianity, you give offerings to what? Jesus and Buddhists. You give offerings to Buddha. You give offerings in all areas in life. Because when you go to your grandma's house and shit, not to attend, what they say, when you go to somebody's house, you don't come what? Empty-handed. You come in with some sort of offering. So the ancestor money does that. It allows you to have offered and gives it to them. Um, where do you, we live? Offers you leave offerings on an altar, their ancestor altar. How to build an ancestor altar. If you go to my YouTube channel, Study Brooks, I have a whole video on ancestor altar and ancestor money. But you burn these. I like to sit my ancestor money on my altar for some days and then I burn it um, just so they know it's for them. Would you be seeing help? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it does help with cysts and fibroids. So we had the ancestor uh, money. This, the category and collection that I'm in, if you're wondering, like, oh, where do I find this on the site? It's all on on other is the money the only offering that y'all have um no so we have ancestor oil and ancestor candles which you can burn that candle and oil to your um for your ancestors um which i have before um our candles i believe every ancestor also must have a candle our white candles I will use our white candles for um, the ancestor altar. But as far as other offerings, food, whatever you give them, you can give yourself, whatever. I don't want to get too much into the questions because I need y'all to tune back in on Thursday to answer, get all your questions. How do we honor our ancestors? Make sure you tune in on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow, tune in tomorrow at 6.30. This is a singing bowl. I'll teach you tomorrow how to play it, but I'm at like I don't know how to play it. Singing bowl. It is beautiful. It comes with a mallet. Singing bowl has vibrations, as you can hear. Y'all hear that? This is not how you play it. I'm just giving y'all a test. That's a sound bowl. I mean, singing bowl. It sings. Um, the vibration helps with healing. It helps with um, meditation, going to sleep, relaxing, resetting, cleansing your crystals. You can cleanse crystals. You can cleanse your home. Sound healing is good for sound cleansing. Love, 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 love the sinking bowl. And two last things that is under the others tab on our website is the candle snuffer. This is a candle snuffer and you use it like this. Well, you use it like this, and this say this is the wick, and you hover it, and you put the flame out. Why do we sell a candle uh, snuffer? You should not be blowing y'all candles out, people. Don't blow your candles out. Don't blow your candles out. Why? Because you're blowing the spirit. You're blowing the intention. You're blowing the wishes away. If you say, hey, I don't pray on this candle. I don't pray with this candle. I want this candle to bring me money. As soon as I say... Those wishes and intentions are gone. They're blown away. You use the snuffer to snuff out the flame, right? To let it go. And it's also a very safe way. This is super cute. It's super handy. You just put it over the candle, um, kind of like this. This is a candle. You just will put it in 
like that. I'm showing you how. That's more tomorrow. But this is good for um, getting the candle lights gone. Last thing under the others tab. Keychains. TJ makes custom keychains. There are three keychain key, key options, right? See? Keychains. Keychains are great um, for just carrying the crystal energy with you. You want to carry it on a go and you don't want to necessarily wear it. Keychains. There's three options. You can have the shocker keychains that looks like this, like it has its represented with the seven chakras you can have a one stone keychain where you get the entire keychain that's in one stone like your favorite crystal may be amethyst you could get an entire amethyst um keychain or you could get a seven chakra keychain or you can get a customized keychain you like i want to put six different crystals i want a money keychain so i'm gonna choose all the money crystals right so customized keychain chakra keychain and one stone keychain they're perfect you could clip them on your wallet on your keys on your backpack on zippers wherever that you find fit okay are y'all still with me for some reason always so spray florida on it yep chakra keychain chakra so you can get the chakras like this it'll look just like this but it'll be on a keychain you can get the one stone like this this will be considered a one stone but this is um black obsidian which is good for protection and then the customized keychain will look say if i wanted all these black obsidian this one down here amethyst that's what i will do are y'all still with me are y'all good are y'all understanding did i lose y'all did you like are y'all like wait i'm lost so that you confuse me i don't know what the hell going on no more i'm still learning do you sell florida water yes we do it's available on our website. It is available on our website. Join Thursday, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to answer all your questions. Florida water is like liquid sage, though, in Palo Santo. It's good for cleansing and welcoming and good. Nope, ready for tomorrow. What you talking about? Tomorrow is at 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, Eastern Standard Time. I would like, did you blow your wishes away on your birthday share? I like to think so. I like to think so. Like, why are we blowing it out? Why are we not putting it up? I don't know. Whatever. All right. So, almost, we almost done, y'all. I told y'all we got a lot of products. Y'all wanted to learn about them, so I'm good. Um, Chakra candles. This is what we have. We have chakra candles. We have the root chakra, which is sold out. We have sacral chakra candles. We have solar plexus candles. Heart chakra is sold out also. Um, we have third throat chakra candles, third eye candles, and crown chakra candles. These candles are good for you balancing any of your chakras, aligning any of those chakras, or if you want to work on a specific thing. So say if you say, hey, I want to work on my intuition and build my intuition, you're going to probably burn a third eye candle. If you say, hey, I, you know, I'm struggling with my confidence and I'm being a little lazy, probably going to do solar plexus candles. Um, to learn more about chakras, you can like visit my YouTube or Sunny Brooks or our master classes. So um, those are candles that we carry to balance and align the different chakras. And they all are glass. Um, and then now we're going to move to our paper candles, which are my favorite. Um, which are my favorite. <laughs> uh, Palo Santo, I would not say better. Any, Both of them are great. White sage is like bleach. Palo Santo is a sweetener and it welcomes in good. Here we go. Taper candles, taper candles. They're all really great. So white, we're going to use how to use these candles tomorrow. How tomorrow? White candle, purification, truth, unity, harmony, wholeness of spirit. We're going to use that for this. Peace, right? Purification, new beginnings, truth, harmony, white candles, white candles, white candles, green. Could y'all guess what green 
green candle is when we deal with candle work and deal with candles just think about what the candle means to you what does that color mean to you what remind what does that color remind you of that's a great way to go right because when you think of white you think of like purity purification right when you think of green you think of money right so green is good for success abundance money Ooh. and also healing because when we think of green, it represents the heart chakra. The heart chakra deals with healing, right? Healing. Y'all are great, 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 great. What about red? What do we think about with red? What do we think about with red? What about the red? Do you have any idea? Red. Love, passion, passion, correct, right? So when we're dealing with red, we think about energy, vitality, love, passion, personal power, right? Y'all are all right. Strength, passion, love, power, vitality, energy, red, red candle. That's what we're, we're um, working on. Purple. Some people are going to say royalty. That works. But when you think about purple, really, we're talking about the spiritual realm. So, um, Red can also be used as protection, right? Because of power. Um, but I won't go too much into that. Purple, we're talking about meditation. We're talking about spiritual realm, divination, hidden knowledge. So just think about spirit with purple. Now we're dealing with blue. We're talking about true, right? Purple is enlightenment, wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. We're dealing with blue, truth, harmony creativity, emotions, and guidance. Blue is really good for emotions because when we think about blue, we think about water. Water controls emotions. Emotions is ruled by the water. So we're talking about blue. Now we're going to move to yellow. When you think about yellow, you're like, oh, creativity, inspiration, concentration, logic, learning, action, right? There you go. Motivation, inspiration, creativity, concentration, logic, learning, action, getting shit done. Why? Because with yellow, we are dealing with the solar plexus. Solar plexus rules, creativity, getting shit done, inspiration, motivation, that type of thing. Orange. Orange is one of those. This is a very powerful color, too. They're all powerful colors, but orange is very powerful. Orange is really good for sudden change. If you need something to change, like right now, tomorrow, today. Sudden change, orange, joy, stimulation and attraction, attracting things, orange is good for. And then we're going to do what we're going to do next, black. You already know, black is what? What is black? Black, let's guess for black. What are we thinking for black? Protection, yes. Protection, repelling negativity, binding, right? Yes. The next one is pink. We're going to, of course, think of love, manifesting love, devotion, friendship, faith is all pink. And honestly, if you have your own personal meanings for colors, you can go with your own personal meanings. These are just guidelines. These are just, these are foundations, right? Brown. I know it looks orange, but it's not orange. I'll show you what orange looks like next to it. But this is brown. When we think of brown, we think of Mother Earth, right? So that's balance, grounding, friendships, right? Seek refuge from chaos. Eliminate, eliminate indecisiveness. Finding lost items and developing meaningful friendships. That's brown. Stability. Correct. 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 Um, the next ones I'm going to go over, the candles that we have. We have a line that's called affirmation candles. They are short candles like this. People always say, Sunny, I don't know what's the difference between a, the affirmation and a blessed herb. They're basically the same, just different sizes and shapes. And, of course, some have different um ones we have in affirmations we have meditation pro uh, prosperity success healing soulmate home blessing love tranquility luck intuition goddess guardian protecting and grief so we have a grief candle this is what the grief looks like 
I'm not going to show you all of them today, but I can explain them. Grief is really good for if you're dealing with a loss, you need to grieve over something that's good. Goddess is tapping into that inner power, that inner goddess within you. This is the goddess candle. And then luck, you're looking for some luck, good luck. So we have a meditation affirmation candle, which is really good for what? Burning for meditation. Um, you can burn them however you find find fit. Like you have to trust your intuition on that one, love. Um, meditation. Then prosperity. We have prosperity. You want to be prosperous. Success. Use it for success. So our candles normally have like the affirmation and the blessed herbal ones. They have names that kind of make sense, right? Healing. You need healing. Soulmate. Soulmate, if you want to attract the soulmate. Remember, soulmates aren't always lovers. You may use the soulmate candle to attract the soulmate friend. Um, have home blessing. You want to bless your home. And um, one for self-love. I'm going to get into that. Love would be one, right? Tranquility. You want to bring peace. Intuition. You want to um, heighten your intuition. The guardian protector is good for protection. You want to... Um, Call down certain spirits and um, have your ancestors or have your guardian angels or your spirit guides protect you. The guardian protector one is good for that. Um, are we good? Okay. So now the next category is the blessed herbal. This is the blessed herbal. So we have money draw, which is good for money draw. Ancestors, which is good for connecting to your ancestors. The attraction and love. That's if you want to attract love. That's good for that. Needed change and banishing. If you need to basically make any change happen in your life, needed change and banishing is good. Protection, which is this one, is really good for protection. You burn and you light for protection. If you need spiritual cleansing, cleansing yourself, getting rid of shit, spiritual cleansing is good. Happy home, peace and serenity. Happy home. You want a happy home? There's a happy home candle for that. Then you have emotional balance, which is this one. You need help with them emotions, getting those emotions balanced, emotional balance. And then we have a, a happiness one also, which is good for bringing in happiness. The last category under our candles is the moon candles. We have the new moon and the full moon candles. This is the new moon candle. The full moon is a white candle, but this is the new moon candle. You burn a new moon candle for beginnings, innocence, creativities, like new beginnings. You burn a full moon candle for letting go, um, removing. Yes, they are scented. They are scented and they're not very strong scented, so they're not going to really bother you, but they're not really, they're made so much for their purpose and benefits, not too much of um, the scent, but they are, they are scented. They are scented. They are scented. So that's the new moon and full moon candles. Are we good? Let me know. Y'all ready for the last two categories? Which is probably what I should have started with, but I didn't want to start with them. Y'all ready for the last two categories? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. The last two categories. Can y'all guess the last two categories? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Can y'all guess the last two categories? Last two categories. What we thinking? What y'all think I ain't covered yet? Crystals. Yep. Crystals is one of them. Crystals is one of them. Crystals, crystals, crystals. And one more category. Crystals. We got that one. What's the next category? Crystals. We got crystals. Cars. Now we don't sell cars. Jewelry. Yes. Braces, jewelry, jewelry. I missed some of the lie. Yes. Jewelry. Jewelry and crystals, which is going to get all good, right? Um, so the first we're going to start with is bracelets. We're going to start with bracelets, bracelets, bracelets. We have three categories when it comes to bracelets. We have, well, four, four, I'm sorry. We have chakras, which looks like these. These are my personal ones, so they look like little baby chakra bracelets. It's okay. These are chakra bracelets. This is the chakra diffuser. This is the chakra aligned. This one looks like um, it's opalite, so it's really cute and cool. But this one is the chakra chakra bracelet. So we have chakra bracelets, um, and then we have um, one stone bracelet. 
So one stone bracelets will be, of course, like the keychain, a bracelet that's made all out of one stone. So this is like all made out of petrified wood. So this will be a one stone bracelet. If you want to get an all amethyst bracelet, an all citrine bracelet, that will be the one stone bracelet. You say, hey, my favorite crystal is rose quartz. I'm going to get a one stone bracelet. Then we have customized bracelets that say, hey, I want to work on love and money. So I'm going to get me a, a, a bracelet that's made out of green adventure, citrine and rose quartz. So that might be actually be a really cute bracelet now that I just said that green adventure, citrine and rose quartz. So you get the customized bracelet and you say, OK, I want the green adventure and the rose quartz. And um, yeah, so one stone is all one stone. Customized is you customizing a bracelet how you want it what you want on it. You get to choose the charm. If you be like, oh, I like that bracelet, but I want to take that charm off. I want to take that crystal off and I want to make it silver. That's a customized bracelet. If you want a one stone, you like, I really like this, but I just want all amethyst. That's the one stone, right? And then the last one would be like, a. we have set styles. So we have, you can wear them all together. That's what we call stacked, right? When we have all the bracelets on. Okay. Um, so this is like a set style, right? Because it has, it's already set style. So we have those on a site, which is like, we have one for motivation. We have one for um, root chakras. We have one for um, creativity, success, protection. Set styles is like TJ has already put some styles together and created set style bracelets, okay? Now we have necklaces. Same thing goes for the necklace. This is a chakra necklace. So you can get a chakra necklace, super cute, right? Super cute. And it comes with a core. All of our necklaces come with a core, but this is a chakra necklace. Chakra necklace. Chakra necklace. Then this is a one stone. Remember I said you can get a bracelet in one stone. This is a one stone necklace. You're like, Hey, I want to make a necklace all out of citrine. This is what you're going to get. That's the one stone necklace. Then say, if you say, hey, I want to um, make a um, necklace out of citrine, rose quartz, and a ventry. That will be the customized necklace. And the last one would, of course, be, um, that's it. Actually, it's only chakra, one stone, and customized. The necklaces come in the same styles as um, the keychains. This is another one stone necklace, right? Okay. Wire wraps. You can customize a wire wrap. This is Celestite that is customized. You cannot really see it. So let me do like this so you can see it clearly. This is a Celestite. The camera doesn't do it any justice. But TJ, let me see. TJ um, creates wire wraps. So you get to choose your crystal. And you get to choose um, your wire color. So say if you don't really like the bees and you're like, I want a raw, uh, I want a raw rhodonite. So I'm going to take the rhodonite and I think I want it to be wrapped in black. So TJ will pick a rhodonite piece and she will get black wire and wrap it and make a um, wire wrap. Out of it. So those are wire wraps. Earrings. Right now, the only earrings that we carry um, are the citrine stud earrings which are super cute. They're super cute. It doesn't really say nothing. It says fashion earrings. But they're super cute. They're citrine stud earrings. And you just put them in. Citrine stud earrings. This is citrine. So we have those also. Um, they're not clip on. They're with a the stick. They're stick earrings. And then we have pendants. We have, they all come in different shapes and sizes. Remember that. We have, this is amethyst. This is an amethyst pendant. This is a citrine pendant. Of course, amethyst is going to be good for spirituality, um, protection, mental clarity, things like that. So you can get a citrine um, pendant. I mean, not a citrine, amethyst. Citrine is going to be good for money, prosperity, abundance, um, confidence, willpower, getting things done. That's citrine. Then we have clear course. This is a smaller clear course, which is super cute. Hold on. That's citrine. Hold on. They come on a rope normally. So that's citrine. That's amethyst. 
And then we have clear quartz and black tourmaline. Clear quartz is going to be good for everything. It's a master healer. And then tourmaline is good for protection. The earrings are super cute. I know. They, I love those. Those are like my fave. Um, and then the last part, the last piece on jewelry is the bingo. This is not a bangle. It's a cuff. This is an amethyst cuff. The amethyst cuff comes in um, tourmaline, which is good for protection. It uh, comes in citrine, which is good for like money and confidence. And then amethyst is good for spirituality. And you can wear it like that, or you can put it wrapped around your arm right here as a cuff. That is jewelry. Are y'all still with me? Jewelry. Are y'all still with me? Let me know. I hope so. I hope so, because we about to get our last one popping in these streets, okay? Because we had an hour and a half. We've been here an hour and a half. So we need to be wrapping up, and we are wrapping up. I want a citrine pendant. You can get this all on our site. Can I get the last four on a bracelet? Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can go to customize bracelets. Yep. You can go to customize bracelets, and when you go to customize bracelet, you can select the options and say, I want amethyst. Citrine, clear quartz, and black. We don't have black tourmaline in braces because it, it's a softer crystal um, in bead forms, but you can choose black onyx, black um, obsidian. But yes, you can. Oh, I love you too. Are we good? Loving the live, loving the jury. Great, 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 great. Do you sell sage? Yes, of course I do. Yes, we do. It's all available on our site. So crystals is going to be our last topic, our last collection. So if you don't know, make sure that tomorrow you tune in for our demo. I'm going to show you how and tell you how to use some of these products. Tomorrow, I am going to go live at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then on Thursday, you come back. You have to watch the replay, love. I kind of went through that already. Um but it's good for, it's like a bleach. It cleanses all energy. And then on Thursday, you come back here for a Q&A. So all of the questions, I want y'all to get off here. When y'all get off here, once we go over crystals, write down all the questions that popped up. I don't care if it's 20. I don't care if it's 30. Write them all down and bring them back on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. You come back on Thursday and you, you just put all your questions and I'm going to answer them. That's the time to get all your answers. If you're like, damn, I don't know what products to get for this person. I need product suggestions for this. That is the time. If I miss your live, will it be on YouTube? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will leave it on YouTube. Um, but yes. Okay. So last one is crystals. We have two categories under crystals on our website. One is the crystal sets. Crystal sets. What are they? We have, it comes with five crystals, except for one of our sets comes with seven. It's the chakras crystals. Um, but it comes with five crystals and they're all good for whatever the crystal set name is. For example, I'm going to read off our crystal set. We have so many different crystal sets, but I want to read them out to you so you know. Attracting love. That's good for bringing and attracting love. Grounding. Good for grounding and stability. Beginners must have. It comes with five crystals. All of these comes with five crystals. Beginners and must have. These crystals are good for those who are just beginning out. And those, these crystals are also that is crystals that everybody should have, right? Creativity, fertility, and pregnancy. If you're trying to get pregnant or you're already pregnant, that crystal set is good for you. Health and uh health and pain relief. If you want to focus on your health. Get rid of some pain. That's going to be good for that. Joy and happiness. Bringing joy and happiness into your life. Money and prosperity. Self-explanatory. Stress-free peace and relaxation. That is if you work in a stressful environment. If you feel like you don't have peace around you or you having a hard time relaxing. That set is going to be good for you. Perfect and happy home. That is good for all homes. All, all homes. You can use that set for all homes. School and study aid. If you are in school, if you need to study, if you need to remember something, if you need to um, pass a test, school and study aid will be good. Self-love and acceptance. You need to work on yourself. That crystal set will be good. 
sleep aid and dream week recall that is for those who want to remember their dream if they're saying i'm having a hard time sleeping i can't um fall asleep um i'm having nightmares anything like that or your child's having nightmares that's gonna be good sleep aid and dream recall spirituality and connection if you want to connect with the spirit realm if you want to connect with your um spirit guides and god if you want to broaden your horizons with spirituality that will be good depression and anxiety that crystal set speaks for itself if you're um, battling depression or anxiety. Successful business. If that's something you want to have, a successful business, or if you're um, working on having a successful business, get that crystal set. With the crystal set, you're going to have to scroll and read the names, right? Workplace and career. I always get that question. Sunny, where, what crystal should I put in my job? What crystal should I? That's it. Workplace and career. I'm going on a job interview. I want to take some crystals with me. Workplace and career. Forgiveness and healing, that crystal set, self-explanatory. Um, protection and ridding ne negativity, self-explanatory. You want to get rid of some shit. You want to protect yourself, protection and getting rid of. Then we have a crystal set for each chakra, crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, root chakra. We have one set for each one. And then we have a seven chakra where there's a crystal for each that represents each chakra, right? So it's seven crystals for that one. That's going to be good if you want to balance and align all of those um, chakras. Then um, we have Mercury retrograde. That's great. If you have a Mercury retrograde crystal set now, it's perfect because we are in Mercury retrograde. Empath, empath um, crystal set. That's good for those who's like, oh, my gosh, people energy um, drain me. I feel people all the time. Oh, my gosh, I can feel their energy. You're an empath. Empath empath same thing um that's good for those people who don't want energy vampires sucking your energy healers that's good for those who maybe read cards do energy work that is a healer that's even good for those who are nurses right um because you're a healer you're helping people heal we have a manifestation crystal set which this crystal set is good for manifesting anything you just use this crystal set which i will tell you how to use it um, but just use it to manifest whatever you're working on. We have a travel crystal set. The travel crystal set is good for you to travel with. Travel with. Um, communication, if you need help, communication. We have an addiction crystal set. If you're battling addictions and you want to overcome addictions, that is one. Energy. So if you need energy, like you're feeling like you're lacking energy, like you're maybe um, tired or fatigued energy would be good. Releasing, purifying, and detoxing. If you are going through like a fast or you're detoxing, you want to detox and release some things, that's really good for that. New beginnings, you're starting something new. New beginnings would be good for that. Ancestor and spirit guide, if you want to connect with ancestors and spirit guides. Meditation, meditation crystal sets are going to help calm you, ease your mind during meditation. Then we have a success crystal set, self-explanatory. Car protection crystal set. You keep this in your car to make sure your car is protected and you're protected and people are protected when they're in your car. Then we have a kid's crystal set and a teen's crystal set, which are good for teens and kids, right? And then we have romantic partnership. You're like, hey, I want to have a crystal set for me and my partner so we can just continue to be loving and communicate effectively and be affectionate. Romantic partnership. Then we have a crystal set for each zodiac sign. Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancers, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. We have a crystal set for each one. These are crystal sets that will be good for that zodiac sign if that's a zodiac sign or you have that heavy influence in your birth chart. And then we have a new moon crystal set and a full moon crystal set, which those crystal sets are great to use during those moon phases. Are we good? Yes, I need the input. Studying and staying focused for my son, yes. And for I once received, do you keep them in sets or can they be like enable mix with other crystals? Sets you can mix them all together if you want, it's up to you, however you want to work. I mean, however you want to do it. So, right now, right before I get into the last segment, the last part of the crystals, which is the individual crystals, which I'll be showing y'all and going over, let me know what y'all zodiac sign is. Put it in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chronic health conditions. I said a, a health, Crystal said health and pain relief, right? Yeah. Find me on YouTube, type in Sunny Brooks, S-U-N-N-Y-B-R-O-O-K-S. -O -O on Facebook, we will be under Soulful Vibes Co. Soulful Vibes Co. 
Should crystals be cleaned when received? Yes. Let me know. What else? What else y'all got? What else? The which one for empaths again? It's called empath. The crystal says legit say empath crystal set. No, no worries. No worries. It was called empath crystal set. Yep. Let me know what y'all zodiac sign is. What is y'all sun sign? I'm not going to get into too much, but what is y'all sun sign? Okay. Talk to me. What y'all sun sign is? What is y'all sun sign? What's, what's a good set for anxiety? I said anxiety and depression. Anxiety and depression would be good for anxiety. What's my sign? You nosy. Why you want to know my sign? Touch your nose. You what? Touch your nose. Oh, TG and YouTube. We re we relating. If y'all was in YouTube, y'all would know. Come on, TG. Okay, come on, Asia. Yes. Okay, okay. I think that's Danny on Facebook. So your sun sign is whatever. You be like, oh, I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Virgo. I'm a, I'm a whatever. That That's your sun sign. Your sun sign is the main sign people associate with. Because you're my adopted big sister. Because you nosy. You nosy. Okay? You nosy, sis. <laughs> ah, if you, let me say, if you was on YouTube or Facebook, we know. Hosting team building meetings, communication probably. <laughs> team build, build, building meetings, communication. Communication. I'm definitely not Aaliyah. What's your sun, moon, and ascending? Damn, you know ZTG. I got to be a Leo or something. I'm definitely not a Leo. Leos wish they were me, but that's never here nor there. Right. Cancer, hell no. That is the last. I would not be a cancer even if I reincarnated again. All right, Rose, go. Earth, I would never be Earth. Earth is too. Yeah, no. Uh, nah, TG, you good, you good, you good. Your Aquarius and Gemini, definitely not. Okay, so uh, my sun sign is an Aries. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely fire. Aries, my sun sign is an Aries. My moon sign is a Cancer. And my rising, I believe it's Libra. It is Libra. I'm double checking now because I just requested my birthday. Um, Aries, yes, I'm an Aries. Y'all love Aries. Instagram, I think y'all gonna cut off again. If y'all do try, I ain't got the time because we about to end it. So, I told you, TG, it's all right. So, we have selenite, which is, like, hard to see. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Selenite. There we go. Selenite, which is good for peace, tranquility. This is selenite. It's so pretty. Okay? This is fluorite. Fluorite. I'm going to be telling you what some of them is. I'm not about to go through the meaning of all of them. Go to our website. Every crystal on our website, if you click on it, has a full description of what it is, okay? You need a bigger selenite? Maybe doing our auction because we're, for y'all who've been with us for a minute, our full moon auctions, y'all remember. Y'all remember full moon auctions. If y'all remember full moon auctions, if y'all been with us for a minute, y'all give me some hearts. So let me know. Say me. Because we're bringing back an auction, but we're not doing full moon auction. We're going to do an auction, but it's going to be for Cyber Monday. Just, just hints because y'all here live with me. Act just like my best friend is. I swear I was about to text her and say, you remind me of. <laughs> Yay, your best friend is awesome sauce then. Um, singing bellows went over that. Um, but yes, so those who know the full moon auction, I'm bringing back auction, but for Cyber Monday. But here we go. This is citrine. Citrine good for motivation, motive, uh, Confidence, prosperity, abundance, all that good stuff. Then we also have black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is good for protection, grounding, stability, getting rid of bullshit. Then we have this amethyst cluster. This is an amethyst cluster. 
Amethyst clusters are good for the same thing as amethyst, spirituality, mental clarity, depression, uh, intuition. Moonstone is good for feminine power, tapping into the inside. We got yellow hematoid quartz. Pyrite. Pyrite nickname is Fool's Gold. Pyrite is really good for prosperity, abundance, confidence, kind of like citrine. Blue kyanite. If you need help communicating and speaking up and living your truth, blue kyanite is good for that. Blue appetite, same. Tiger's eye. If you need some courage to get some shit done and be creative or need to be creative, tiger's eye is really good. Black kyanite. I'm going to let y'all, this one is beautiful, but I'm going to let y'all go online to read all about black kyanite because these are powerful. Hence, hint, hint y'all can also click in our story highlights on our Instagram and click crystal suggestions and you're going to see all of those crystals and you can um, actually read what they're all about because TJ made graphics on them. We have blue calcite, which is good for, oh, y'all got two minutes left. I'm going to hurry up and end it and I'm going to come right back. Blue calcite. Are y'all good over here, YouTube and Facebook? Y'all good? Y'all good? Okay. Blue calcite. Blue calcite is good for calming. We don't carry Moldavite. We don't have Moldavite. Moldavite is not a beginner stone, and I do not recommend everybody to um, have Moldavite, so we don't carry Moldavite. But this is blue calcite. Blue calcite is for calming energy. Calming Unikai. Unikai is really good for forgiveness and letting go and heart chakra and love. Okay. We got green opal. Good for love and healing. Also, mo money too. Labradorite. Love labradorite. This is a really good spirituality um, crystal and intuition crystal. You can't really see it, but it has flashes of blue. Labradorite is wonderful. Then we have amazonite. This is like a white piece of amazonite. Okay. I grabbed a white piece of amazonite, but let me show you. People call it um, um, amazonite, but I call it amazonite. You can't really see it. You can kind of see the blue. There we go. Amazonite. Um, that's a really good crystal, too. We have I'm about to do some favorites. We got some green calcite. That's good for some healing, some good work. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got lapidolite. Lapidolite is good for dreams, sleeping. It's good for, um, it's good for the crown. If you're familiar with chakras, crown chakra. Um, sunstone, good for motivation also. Um, we're good. We're going to have to end in a minute. We got rhodonite. Oh, thank you. Rhodonite, rhodonite. Pink and black. Good for grounding and love at the same time. Grounding and love. We got emerald. Emerald is good for money. Emerald is good for love. Emerald is good. Y'all can see the green in the emerald. Then we got rose quartz, okay? Rose quartz. Let's see. There we go. Rose quartz is good for love, self-love, self-acceptance, self-awareness, affection, compassion, all of that good stuff. Um, we have yellow jasper, good for confidence, willpower. We got some crystal phrase, good for money, but also good for healing the heart and forgiveness. Yeah, rose quartz is all time favorite. This is an amethyst. You can barely because the lighting, but this is amethyst. Told you what that's good for. This is red jasper, good for grounding, good for pain relief, good for stability. And then we have hematite here. People say, my hematite not black, like the picture or like um, I see on the internet. Understand that hematite in the mind, when hematite is formed and after it's formed, there is iron oxidation that happened. Iron oxidation, which gives it the yellow dusty color. But if you wash it off, you will see more black. Now we are doing, and hematite is really good for protection. I think it's one of the, if not the strongest uh, protection crystal we have. 
Shungite, good for protection also, but also good for EMF and stopping the electronic magnetic waves from frequencies from the computers and Wi-Fi things to affect our lives. If you're into that, that's EMF protection, um, but Shungite is really good for that. And it cleanses water. If you put this dusty Shungite crystal, which you can see the black on my hand, you put it in some water, it filters water. Surprisingly, the black won't be and the water will become clearer and it'd be much more tastier. Smoky quartz, good for detoxing, releasing, um, protection also, getting rid of shit. Tumble crystals, no, we don't have tumble crystals, but here's a secret. We will soon. Green aventurine, green aventurine is good for protection, I'm not protection, money, prosperity, and also love. People forget that part about green aventurine. Carnelian, good for creativity sexual energy, those good things. You can go get a full description on the site. Garnet, garnet. This garnet does not look like a very red, shiny garlic, garnet because um, of the, what is it called? It's not polished and it's not shiny and polished and all those things. And then we got clear quartz. Clear quartz. Clear quartz is good for everything. It cleanses, I mean, it charges all crystals and amplifies the energy of all other crystals. It is a master healer, so it's good for all things, okay? Yeah, you can use um, Shungite for water, okay? Um, I'm going to stay on Facebook and Instagram a little while longer. YouTube is lagging a little, um, but let's see. Okay, so make sure y'all join back here tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go to YouTube and type in Sunny Brooks where you can find me in my channel so you can be there with me and we can interact and you can watch other informative videos. All of these products can be found on soulfulvibesco.com. Um, make sure you join also back on Thursday with all of your questions so I can answer them. And that will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Stand Standard Time. Wednesday will be the only date that we do 6.30. What was the last one? Clear Quartz. Do you have a moon chart or something that you could get off your website? Can you put it back on there? Email me. I'll send it to you. Email me at sunnybrooks at Soulful Vibes Co. Sunnybrooks at Soulful Vibes Co. Or hello at Soulful Vibes Co. I'll get to you. I'm going to have to get your course because I know they got to be fired because I can't just listen to anybody. Most people don't know what they talk about, but feel very comfortable coming to you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if y'all don't know, I have launched my I Choose Me program. Side note, shameless plug. I Choose Me. I Choose Me program. Y'all can go on my personal page at I Am Sunny Brooks. At I Am Sunny Brooks. It is a program that takes you from healing your past. Um mastering and living in your current life and then manifesting your future if you want to learn about manifesting if you want to heal your past i choose me is the program i have launched i only host it two times a year and i take a limited amount um of people a limited amount of women let me say that limited amount of women and the difference between this round and any other round is that i am doing it 50 percent off yes i said it 50 percent off so if you want to learn more about it make sure you go to my website at iamsunnybrooks.com slash i choose me or you can just go to my website i mean go to my page at i am sunny brooks on instagram and click the link in my bio Garnet is good for sex. Garnet is good for love. Garnet is good for money. Garnet is good for a lot of good shit. But you can go to our website and get a full reading. YouTube, I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I love y'all. If nobody ever told y'all, nobody told y'all today. You already know what I say. My YouTube fam, I fucking love y'all. See y'all later. All right.